Hello, everybody. I'm LW, and let's pick up from where we left off. When we last spoke, our question was, why should we exercise and why should we diet? We more or less said exercise and diet coincide, they go together, and they do. So, my question to you, after our first review, how many pounds have you gained since you were 20? Question number one, do you have high blood pressure? How about high cholesterol? Diabetes? How are your joints? Does your back hurt? And have you tested your blood pressure lately? These are very, very important factors. How about, have you applied the eating test? Making a plate smaller, eating half the amount that you normally eat on your plate. Do you fall asleep after you've finished eating? These are things that you should be looking at. How do you feel when you go up the stairs? How do you feel when you're shopping? Just walking around, not doing very much. These are different times that you could possibly be impacting your health. And we wanna make sure that we're not contributing to bad health. How much do you snack? What are you snacking on? What are you drinking? Is it an alcoholic beverage? All these different things come into play when you're looking to improve your health. And if you have any of these problems, any of these issues that I just reviewed with you, then you need to exercise and you need to properly diet. I am not a nutritionist. I am not a doctor. I am not a bodybuilder, a physical therapist, or anything. But I do have a lot of experience. And I'm also the inventor of the latch bar. But we're not here to discuss the latch bar, we are discussing your health. We'll get to the latch bar as we go along. I'll assure you of that. So, are you overeating? Do you have that eating disorder that I referred to previously? Then if you do, then you should be doing something about it because that's going to continue and continue to put more pounds on you. So this is what you need to know about that perfect refining system that all of us have, our body. We all have a perfect refining system, but we can make it sort of unperfect, if that's the term. And we do that by overeating because your body can only process a certain amount of food at a time. And once you overeat, your body will identify what you have overeaten as fat and add it on to you. How about that? Is that important enough to make you want to eat proportionately? How about America is the most obese country in the world? Now, I know it's challenging with all the fast food, 
restaurants that they have these days. They didn't have all these fast food restaurants years ago. But we were still the most obese country in the world. So we can, we can come up with excuses. We can come up with a lot of different challenges, challenges that we face today that we didn't face yesterday. But we still need to do something about it. Because if we continue to come up with nothing but excuses, we're going to be continuing to go down, down the same road. So, we try and duplicate what our body can do. That's right. We try and duplicate a refinery system. We try and duplicate a centrifuge. Your body is a super centrifuge. You see how it separates liquid from waste? How about that? It doesn't spin at 600 RPM either. Or 6,000 RPM, should I say. No, it just goes about its business and gets everything done. Usually it's referred to as your metabolism. So as we age, our metabolism starts to go downhill. We need to recognize that our metabolism will go downhill. We need to recognize that we need to change our diet as we age. We can't eat as much as we did when we were much younger because our body will not get rid of the food that it did at such a rate that, we did, that it did when we were much younger. So we need to eat less. And we need to incorporate exercise because we are no longer working out and exercising as we did as we were much younger. Don't accept those extra pounds that you think are just because you are an adult and you're aging. You can get rid of those pounds if you do something about it. And it starts off in your own home right at the table proper dieting. Now, you don't need a nutrition to tell you that you're overeating. Maybe some of us do. But for the most part, you don't need a nutritionist to tell you that you're overeating. Now, I'm not trying to cut anyone out of the job, but we need to use common sense, especially if we can't afford a nutritionist. It's not the end of the road. You can still do something about it. It's called discipline. Do you have any discipline? Any left? Because as we age, we need to discipline ourselves as we discipline our children. That's right. If you want to live longer or if you want to give yourself an opportunity to live longer. Because otherwise, you're not giving yourself a chance. Let's try and lose some of those pounds so that you'll be able to walk up those stairs without being out of breath. So that you'll be able to go shopping and come back and not be tired. So that you'll be able to play with your grandchildren without being tired. But I must admit, they will make you tired either way. But you can do better than what you're doing. Don't come home and lay on the sofa after you finish eating. That will worsen your problem. Don't recline in the reclining chair with a can of beer while you're watching TV. That one can of beer will multiply. And before you know it, you will have that beer belly. Male or female, it happens to us both. Nobody wants a partner that looks like that. Let's be honest with one another. You can do something about it. Don't say you can't. I know that you can. It's that weak part of you that is 
telling you that you can't. Use the stronger part and let's be positive as opposed to being negative and say what you can do instead of what you can't do. After all, this is all that you own. You own nothing else. Make the best of it. It's all you have. Yes. When you leave here, the car, the house, everything else stays and you, you leave. Do you want to leave because you did not want to exercise? How about that? Because you could not control your eating habits? How about that? Doesn't sound like a viable reason to accept poor health. That's what we're doing. Most of the health issues that we have are due to overeating and poor eating habits. Those snacks, we have to discipline ourselves not to go crazy on the snacks. I know how difficult it is. I love snacks just as much as you, but we have to be disciplined. We have to exercise. We have to encourage one another to exercise. Instead of offering food, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but let's offer exercise. Encourage each other to exercise. And if you're going to offer food, offer some healthy food. Let's see how quick others will grab at that. Probably not too many. I know I'm asking a bit too much, but in your own home, these are things that you could practice. When you go out, you know what you need to expect. Discipline or limit yourself to what you do, what your intake is. And that will help you. But in the meantime, keep in mind that this refinery here can only process a certain portion at a time. So if you force it to overprocess or to go into overdrive, it's not going to process the excessive food that you put into your stomach. So your digestive system goes into overdrive when it has too much food. Just like your heart, that's also a muscle, it goes into overdrive just as much when you've overeaten, which results in high blood pressure when you have too much weight from all the weight that you gain from overeating. And then your cholesterol goes up. These are things that happen. We inherit a lot of things because we are repeating what our parents did. For the most part, that's true. Now, there are different parts that you have no control of because you inherited looks and everything else from your parents. But your food intake, you did not inherit from your parents. They only told you, here's the food, now eat it. It's not their fault that they weren't trained how to eat just as well. They knew that eating was nourishing. Without eating, you will not have nourishment. So we need to eat, but we need to control how we eat, how much we eat, when we eat, and all the above. Do you need a nutritionalist to tell you, don't eat too much, don't overeat, 
Just a question. I'll bet you can control a lot of what you're doing if you be more conscientious of what you're doing. And exercise, follow it up. Keep in mind, you don't have to exercise at a gym. You can exercise in your own home. It doesn't take much to get yourself worked up and to start exercising. That's right. And you don't need a lot of expensive equipment either. You just need enough to get yourself started and you need motivation and discipline more than anything else to get yourself started on an exercise regimen. I encourage you to do that so that you can feel better. You can drive that blood pressure readings down. You want it to be below 120 over 80. If it's at 120 over 80, all well and good, but you can make it better. You can drive that cholesterol down with exercise and diet. And of course, you can also drive that A1C down too. Because most likely that was a result of your poor eating habits and because you didn't want to exercise and you were borderline and you pushed yourself over. Now, I'm sorry, all these different things, you may not like what I'm saying, but this is what we've done to ourselves. And as we age, we need to do something about it because you won't be around for a long time if it continues to get worse. Because remember, every 10 years, 50 pounds. So if it's 30 years, that would be 150 pounds. I see a lot of people walking around with an excess of 150 pounds overweight and even more. You've seen it for yourself. You can do something about it if you try. If you don't, you don't have a chance. Now, make sure you choose the right tools to exercise with. As we go forward, we'll continue to get closer to talking about that. In the meantime, I think I've worn you out enough, but I want you to know that eating and exercising is the best thing that you can do for your health. You can make it better. Now I want to say thank you to those that participated in listening to the OG today because I am OG and I know it. But you are following right behind me if you're not along with me or in front of me. And you can do something about it. You can improve your health no matter who you are, no matter what age you are, as long as you have the physical attributes and as long as you are mentally stable enough and if you have the motivation and if you have the discipline to do what's necessary to be, to be done to improve your health. Check out the Latch Bar channel on YouTube. All different types of workouts and how to use the Latch Bar equipment. Stay tuned. Thank you all very much. Have a great day.